Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got a cool pry bar to show you today. Uh, this is my son's. He just recently got it. Let me borrow, borrow it to check out and do a video. And yeah, I'm not going to beat on it. Just, you know, mar it up or anything. I let him destroy it at work. But yeah, this is from Rogan. Show you right here in the sticker www.roganusa.com They make awesome pry tools and stuff. I've had a small Rogan, I can't remember the name of it, um, pocket pry or something, little pry tool. This thing's awesome. I carry this quite a bit, just chuck it in my back pocket, pull it out, nice heavy duty. I've used it several times. It's holding up it looks pretty much like new I mean I haven't done real serious prying with this because it's so small but paint cans and stuff like that yeah that, that's working good but yeah you got this big one and this is the tradesman model and essentially it's just one heavy duty pry tool now you can see you got the topo graphic design on it topo design that's pretty cool laser etched in but yeah this thing this thing's quite a quite a monster but before we get in everything on that show you the sheath the sheath is sold separately um, $29.99 on the Rogan website. And these are made by, are actually made by M3 Tac Tactical Solutions. Makes the sheaves. Here's the information for them. And you can see, they're on, there's the email, um, website, Instagram, Facebook, but yeah, so they make the sheaves, and this sheaf fits the tradesman and the foreman, I know that much, but yeah, nice sheaf, it's a friction um, retention system, so you tighten the screws up to hold, you know, more tension at it, so this thing doesn't click in. It's held in by friction. See it upside down. I can shake it out. That can be adjusted a little bit more. But you'd have to do a headstand, cartwheels, or something for this thing to come out. Comes with a belt clip. It's included. This one's plastic, but it seems pretty durable. Um, plastic, I don't know how it, it would hold up in extreme temperatures you know cold or heat but norm, normal you know temperature range seems like that's pretty good I had it on my belt yesterday um I, I got sweatpants on right now but yeah it, it carries rides pretty good I mean it's no different than having a big heavy um fixed blade but yeah, so M3 Tactical Solutions make the sheath. That's pretty nice. Kydex, you get the OD green. Comes with the clip. And yeah, you can you can actually move this up to lower it. Um, I did notice the way this is. This is quite high up on my side. So I prob I would probably move it up so it carries lower. So that's that's me. Um, the clips don't come installed. They come, you know, separately in the package. So my son put put it on. I think I'm going to suggest he moves it up to these two holes. Probably be easier, easy to carry. But yeah. Anyways, move that out of the way. Get back to this thing. This thing's one. One solid hunk of steel. Um, measurements real fast. I mean, it's 
one inch wide by quarter of an inch thick by eight inches long. This thing's, you know, it's hefty, definitely hefty. Get my scale to work. I don't know what's going on with it. There we go. Grams. Do grams. 249 grams. Throw the sheaf on there. 313 grams. Move it to pounds and ounces here. So... Weighs 8.8 .8 ounces, 8.7 with a sheath, 11.1 ounces. Now, let's just compare something here. So, what was that? Try to remember. 11.3 ounces. That scale is like weird. Now take my Leatherman Wave Plus with a bit set, the bit extender inside the case. You know, that's 14.3 ounces. My Leatherman weighs more than this, so not bad. It's not too bad for, you know, a big hunk of steel. Um, yeah, the top old design looks cool. Probably beat that right off in there. But look at the card. Um, it actually shows you how to wrap the paracord. It came wrapped already. And it's wrapped nice. It's nice and tight. Yeah, so that's good. But it's for digging, digging holes in dirt, chopping roots. Split, lo, split, dig, split, pry hammer. So digs, digging holes in dirt, chopping roots, split, splitting logs. We have batoning. This one you'd have to go straight down like that. Pry, pry open wooden crates, you know, whatever. You got to pry hammer, hammer and tent stakes. So you can definitely hammer with a flat of this thing. Now, <clears throat> that's pretty good. It's got this, you know, chisel, you know, grind to it. It's not sharp, but it's a pretty, pretty good edge right there. You can see, and it's blunt, but it's not really thick. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's not a chisel. You don't want to, and it says on the website, not designed for repeated steel hammer strikes. So you don't want to take a steel hammer and beat on it all the time. What you're going to do is you're going to mushroom, mushroom this over, and then it's going to chip, and chips are going to go flying, and you'll pretty much destroy it. If you, if you got a beat on it, I would definitely use a brass hammer. Um, brass is softer than the steel. I don't know what kind of steel this is made out of, or if it's heat treated or anything like that. All I know is this one holds up good, the little one. So, I imagine this is going to hold up just fine for what he he needs it for. You can see it's got a lanyard hole. And they're kind of counterboard or kind of countersunk there, chamfered. So, that's nice. So, if you do have a lanyard on this thing, it's not going to cut right through the paracord or whatever. And 550 paracord would definitely easily fit through it but yeah that worked nice so i was thinking about getting one of these a few times and um i think i'd get the foreman it's got an end like this but it's got the same bevel along one edge so you could do more more chopping that that's one you could really baton with but yeah, pretty cool. You can see even the etching came around the side here. Not so much on that side, but it touched, 
a little bit on that side. Pretty cool. You can get different color paracord wrap. You can get different color sheaths too. Um, I, I don't think I said how much this thing is. Um, regularly, the uh, Tradesman's $31.99. Right now, they're on sale for $29.99. And the sheath right now is listed at $21.99. But it said they're all sold out. He ordered this. And the sheaths were sold out. Then they got them in. So he ordered the sheaf and now they're sold out again. So very popular addition to these two bigger tools. And yeah, I can see why. Um, I definitely, like I said, I'd have this up on the two upper holes. Have the belt loop kind of up here. Definitely carry lower. Wouldn't be so far up you know, your side. But yeah, this is something I thought was cool. Let me check it out. I think he bought this extra. I mean, you can buy a patch for like $4.99 or something. Pretty cool little morale patch. Also get a card. I'd like to personally thank you for your purchase. All that stuff. Again, email. Website. Right here, RoganUSA, gmail.com, RoganUSA.com. So, yeah, definitely, if you're looking for a heavy-duty pry bar, beater bar, whatever, definitely check these out. Um, like I said, I kind of want the Foreman model. I think it'd be just that little bit more useful the bevel on one edge but this thing is pretty awesome what man you really get in price stuff apart if you're tearing apart like pallets or something and you could pop the boards loose no problem but yeah like i said just a quick video thought i'd show this to you guys um check them out they have time I might put the links to the websites in the description but yeah I didn't mention geez get my act together this is made in USA right here's a little flag made in USA the sheaths are also made in USA and yeah so that's it I think that's that's everything so, again, if you like these videos, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and until the next video, bye.